Hello, in this video, I am going to show you input groups. So what I'll do is I'll provide a link to the input group API guide page from Bootstrap. We can see all of the different variants that you can do. And I'm sure you can probably make some extra up as well. And you know, all the other different features of it. I'll prov I will show you a basic one and that will give you a rough idea of what it is. Okay, so we have these, you know, all of these are some form of input. And you see this input here, regular input, it's text. So this is a say text field. This is a text area, allows you know, multi-line stuff. But what we can do is, it's best if I just show you, because it is pretty darn cool what you can achieve. So we're gonna have a div, and this is gonna have a class of input group, and mb-3 in here. We're gonna first of all have an input, and this is going to have a type of text and then class is going to be form dash control and we're going to have a placeholder of recipients username all of this will make sense shortly and we're going to have an area dash label equal recipients username and we're gonna have say area dash described by and this is we're gonna say input group one we'll use this as the id of the span which we are literally creating right now this is gonna have a class of input dash group dash text and we're gonna have an id this is going to be this and in here I'm just going to say epic at epicwebsite.com. So you might be thinking what does that produce? It produces this. So imagine if you are, you know, have some sort of registration form and you are essentially creating an email address as well. Maybe this is your website. You could do something like this. You know it's going to be at whether your website name is dot you know com dot or decay whatever. So in this case, in this example, it's at epicwebsite.com. Then you could do something like Frahan. And so that would correspond to being Frahan at web epicwebsite.com. You would obviously have to code this in JavaScript and then pass that into your backend technology like PHP or Python. But in terms of the front end, this is what you would do. If you look at the other input groups, there are other examples. There's an at one for something like a username, you know, something to do with currency, for example, which is pretty cool. You can, you know, do stuff where you're wrapping it as well. You know, you can size it, so feel free to check that out. There's checkboxes and radio buttons as well. There's multiple inputs, which is pretty darn cool and multiple add-ons. So I, I think this is a cool one, first and last name. So that way you can input it separately because a lot of websites do want it separately. It's just easier to, you know, manipulate the data. I don't mean in a malicious way, but just in general, you know, for searching, for example. But you might want to show us, you know, so you can see what it looks like because you generally would have it next to each other. And you can have multiple add-ons as well. It's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. So feel free to experiment, create your own custom stuff. If you have any questions or you get stuck, let me know. There will be a link to this and, you know, my Discord page and you know, my website. So feel free to check that out. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.